Hey group, this is the inventory for the Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch Cavalcade Program. This is a five day horseback trek through the Davis Mountains of West Texas. As far as gear goes, there are a few things that will supply you when you arrive. First and foremost, a set of canvas saddlebags. These have about a gallon's worth of capacity on either side. This is where your water will ride, as well as everything that you take out on the trail. We also have feed bags. These are your canvas as well. Leather strap over the top. These we use to feed the horses twice a day, but they'll also ride hanging off of the horn from camp to camp throughout the day. We usually put our meal, our lunch for the day, as well as a lead rope inside of that. Now, as far as personal gear goes, a canvas blanket bedroll is essential on the trail. Now for directions on how to build this, the materials used, these knots tied, as well as the dimensions, check out the link in the description down below. Make sure you have all those parts and pieces and you practice these knots before you arrive. Now, there are a few options on Cavalcade. If you're a hammock person and you have some lightweight hammocks, go ahead and bring it. At every night stop, we have some trees or structures that you can go ahead and string one of these up. A lot of folks sleep on the ground and that's all right as well. A raincoat. Now, even though we're in the desert, it does rain more often than you might think. This is moderately durable as we do go through some brushy trails from time to time. Make sure that you pack this at the top of your saddlebags just in case it does start to rain you have easy access to it. Now, as far as clothing goes, what I'm wearing right now, long sleeve shirt and my pants, what I go out on trail with is what I come back with. I also take a short sleeve shirt, that's for layers, just in case I wanna put something on underneath here, or if I just wanna wear a t-shirt. I have an extra pair of socks and an extra pair of underwear. When we wanna go light, we do have some springs and stock tanks that we jump in, swim, rinse off in. Here in the desert, you just don't sweat as much which also means you don't smell as much. A ball cap. Now we do ride from camp to camp with helmets, but as soon as we're done riding and those helmets come off, it's important to put some protection on your head. So these ball caps get the sun out of your eyes and they also give you a little more protection. Sunglasses. Now everybody's got a little bit different sensitivity with their eyes. I use aviators. You're that much closer to the sun out here. There's no humidity. It can be very intense. Work gloves. These are leather. Out on the trail, we have things called cat claw. We have all kinds of trail projects that we do. We move rocks. Gloves are very, very useful. Make sure that you pack a pair. A knife. Now this is a Leatherman multi-tool. Your Wranglers will have a Leatherman surge or a Leatherman wave. Now it's not required to have a multi-tool, but packing a knife is usually a good idea. A kerchief. This is a multi-use item. Either putting it on your neck to make sure the sun stays off of it, or wetting it down to breathe through. If you come from a place with lots of humidity, sometimes we have nosebleeds, things like that. So wetting down your kerchief, breathing through that moisture will help that out immensely. Now for a few miscellaneous items, such as a big lighter. This is all about being prepared. If you are one of those people that should not have a lighter, you know who you are, leave it at home. Insect repellent. Now we typically don't have issues with insects out here at BTSR. We have very, very few mosquitoes, and no ticks, but it's good to carry some with you just in case. Chapstick, use it before you need it, and you will need it. Make sure you pack some chapstick. Tissue paper, every night stop will have plenty of toilet paper, but along the trail, mile to mile, it's good to have just a little bit inside your saddlebags just in case. I've got two different types of sunscreen right here, aerosol and a squeeze tube. The important takeaway is that they're small, and you want to definitely use this before you need it. It's no fun having a sunburn, trying to go to sleep after the first day. Lastly, a small toothbrush and toothpaste for the trail. Now, when it comes to eating utensils, every morning there will be coffee. If you're somebody that enjoys coffee, make sure that you pack a lightweight mug. There will always, always be coffee on Cavalcade. As far as a bowl, you need to have something like a plate bowl, something that will hold volume. If you're curious about what I have here, I'll put a link in the description down below. Check it out. But lots of options, something to hold a bit of volume. If the food's soupy, you want it to be able to stay there. I also have a utensil, classic spork, a spoon and a fork. This is all we really need to go out and eat on Cavalcade. A few personal snacks. Now we feed folks quite well out on the trail, but it's always good to be prepared. So a payday, some granola, maybe some Twizzlers, as long as it's something that doesn't melt in the saddlebags, you ought to be all right. A map. 
Now it's not important for everybody to pack map, but having a couple of them out on the trail, we can show you where you've been and where we're going. Maps are good to have. Flashlights. Now you don't need very many of them. One usually works out here. The moon is very bright when it's out. The stars are absolutely fantastic, but it's good to be able to do things at night if necessary. So bring you a good flashlight. Personally, I have headlamps that I use or hat clip lights. Make sure that they're small, compact, and not giant monster mag lights. Water. Now, this is arguably the most important commodity out here in the desert. We want to make sure that you have at least three one liter water bottles that will go out with you on trail. These will fit down inside the saddlebags. We don't allow platypuses or camelbacks, nothing that straps over your shoulder or any kind of backpack. We also don't allow anything to hang off of the saddle horn. These things need to fit inside your saddlebag for a multitude of reasons. We'll stop throughout the day and allow you to drink water, making sure that we take frequent breaks. We also have water drops along the trail. Water's extremely, extremely important. Now the rest of the gear that we have here on this table is Wrangler gear, and they'll either carry it on their own saddle or get a participant to carry it for them, such as this first aid kit here. Now this is comprehensive. We encourage you to familiarize yourself with this first aid kit. Hopefully we never use it, but it's there just in case. We also carry a radio, and this is hooked to various repeater towers across the Davis Mountains. We check in twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. We also get weather reports using this. Safety first. We have a shoeing kit here, just in case a shoe falls off of a horse. We have nippers, a file, hammer, nails, and extra shoes. We also carry with us a repair kit for sewing. So any leather goods, or perhaps you have a blowout in your clothing, we can go ahead and put that back together on the trail. A trail saw. Now every Wrangler carries a trail saw. Along the way, you might see a step off, move a boulder, move a tree, or trim up some problem branches along the trail. Maintenance and upkeep on trails is very important. Last item here is a duster, and this is my old duster, also known as an oil skin. This is a cowboy's raincoat. It keeps me warm. This is all I really take care out on the trail. It's been with me for uh, too many years, has extra holes in it, but you might see your Wrangler have a duster on the back of their saddle instead of a bedroll. So just a few things here. If y'all have any ideas, go ahead and put them in the comments section below this video. Ask us questions. I'll also have a comprehensive list down in the description of the items needed for cavalcade. If there are any changes or updates, we'll go ahead and put them there. Thank you all for watching this video. We look forward to riding with you out here on the trail. Now, if you want to support this program, we encourage you to look at the links down in the description below. We appreciate any support that y'all can give us. Guys, support Scout, be good, and as always, until next time.